right. Uh, we were here. Am I on? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, it's okay. So, um, I've got seven and a half minutes to do a six minute walk, so that should be comfortable. Is he gone? Two minutes later, okay. Interesting. Oh. Well, we'll do that for when we're not drowning. Two minutes later. Oh. What's that? What's all these? Someone's fingers? Two minutes later, that should be on the beach. You said six minutes. Okay. Oof. L and E. Well, they're trapped in a lane. No way. <laughs> At last! Hello, Monkey Island! It's me, Guybrush! Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Ah, it's a heart with L and E. Someone romantically carved into the tree. Right. Where's my map? Begin the search of the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Sneak past the bees. Okay. And can I can I make this quick? Yes, in and out, in and out. Sweet. With the M button. Right, red berry bush, red berry bush. Oh, there's a card there. Right, let's do this uh, trivia. What word is the curator asking for when solving the crossword puzzle? That must be later in this game. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Right, into the jungle then. Oh, seagull. Murray? No, Murray should be flat. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Just some old skull. Raspberry bush. There it is. Exploring before I do my search. Ah, Murray. Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this in case I ever take up skull juggling. Let's go. This is where I accidentally fell years ago when the ledge collapsed. Good times. <laughs> Spectacular! Spectacular! Okay, fine, done. That is gazeworthy. Gazeworthy? Ah, <laughs> oh, Murray. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. <laughs> just collecting skulls, that's not. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow, the sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that, or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Well, how did it get back here? We took it back to Melee. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. How are you going to get this running again? Alright. Where's the jungle? Where's the jungle? Oh. 
it's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Does it? In what language? Not Murray. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh. It's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Oh. Uh oh. It's them. I better just stay back and eavesdrop. Can't you just break the security? Taught you a good at this style. Keep talking and you'll find out how good I am. Any place, anywhere, any place. That's the same thing. <laughs> Why aren't we waiting in the jungle? Because I need to finish setting up the ritual here. You can go ahead if you want to. And leave you two to plan behind me back. Me don't think so. Three. Though truly it is I, Murray, and I alone who possess the cunning necessary to achieve victory. You keep out of it or I'm hiding your jawbone again. He's not flattening How come we have to do this right here? It's the best power spot on the island. Place gives me the creeps. And I don't creep easily. In case you were wondering about your reward for uncrushing me, you need not worry. When this is done, and I unleash my terrible wrath upon the world, your heads alone will be spared, and you may sit at my feet when all else has been reduced to ashes. Feet? The uh, figure of speech. I thought I told you to stop talking. I'm happy to recrush ya if you want. Uh, so as not to disrupt Lila's preparations, I shall, for the moment, remain silent. Silent, but deadly. <laughs> Wonderful. How much longer are we going to wait for LeChuck? Be patient. What? They're working with LeChuck? How much longer are we going to wait for LeChuck? Be patient. They're waiting to ambush him. How much longer are we going to wait for LeChuck? Be patient. You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. Can I have it venture this way? Oh, is it going to be like the same as... No, no, no. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Delicious berries. I don't eat trail berries. Not after what happened last time. And the time before that. Fair enough. The ghost chicken with the digestive trouble is called... Um, I don't know its name. I don't remember it having a name. Okay, so start at the bread bush. Follow the monkey head. I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. Fair, fair, fair. It's running a little fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wooden chicken. I've got to sneak past the bees to the helpful sign. Heed the sign. I didn't know the island was zoned for housing. How do I get past the bees? I do like honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. Okay. Secret this way. It's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. There's something... Oh, God. See, if I do this thing, then it... 
highlights them as well, but I haven't been doing that. I've only been doing that when I'm desperate. A Bermuda... Uh, ask me trivia about stuff that I've not even seen yet. This looks like Dinky. Free shovel. Okay. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. What could possibly go wrong? Is it going to fall the out? The secret of Monkey Island must be buried here. It's a trap. I'm moments away from fulfilling my life's ambitions. 100% trap. Once and for all, I'll be able to prove to Elaine that this wasn't a fool's quest. Yep. Everyone said the secret didn't exist, but I always knew it did. Knowing the secret of Monkey Island will change my life. I'm done pondering. Let's dig this baby up. I'm done pondering. Let's dig this baby up. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is not going to end well. Yeah. Oh. So no one will believe your story. Oh, that's that's not LeChuck. Shouting cat. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Are you double crossing? Is it everybody? You must be the smart one. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? <laughs> his lookout's favorite food? I know the How about the first two notes of his theme song? Why on earth would you care about any of that? Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on Melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. Bring me more slow. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. <laughs> okay. I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? Or I poke a hole in you and it squirts out right away. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship, and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. For sure. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map, and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer, and I won't make it again. In or out. <laughs> the only offer. What are the alternatives? We kill you. I accept. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. So, uh, fried chicken, bring me more slaw. Da, 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 That's it. Okay, I know it. Or is it those dogs we had at the beginning? Into the jungle. How do I get back to the ship? Hey, 
partner. Hi. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Um. I'm worried LeChuck's crew will recognize me at the ship. I had a disguise before, but it's gone now. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Those must be Lila's disguise making potions. Wood. I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. Oh, we can be friends because he doesn't know what we I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them, especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They've promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the? How did you know about that? Who've you been talking to? I've got my eye on you, Threepwood. Uh, so to speak. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. <coughs> Do you want a friend? Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pl I know it now. Stop bothering. Partner. See you. Uh, chicken feed cow. Are they gonna disguise me as a chicken? No. Okay. Would the Chuck's map work for making a disguise spell? He was sort of keeping it a secret, except when he was waving it around and bragging about it. That's not even really the Chuck's. Madison made it. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Um, four salmon. Maybe I can book a side trip to Horsey Island. Could be a humorous, or maybe the Elna. It's hard to tell without some deep forensic analysis. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. We didn't 
see how it works. It's a weird looking skull. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Now oh, I can just get on board, okay. Needlessly overstated, okay. No lookout keeping an eye on me there. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Oh, yeah. It's a soaked skull. What are you? I'm sensing pure evil here, more than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. Welcome on this ship, Threepwood. <clears throat> okay, well that was obviously gonna happen. But it's just, you just wanna see it. Is he still in here? What's he doing? Drown him down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. Don't wait. Hold, hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, oh, but yeah. they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. <laughs> How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. That's not bad. Lob, fob, gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. How does he talk like this underwater? I mean, like eyebrush. What was he like? The new swab you mentioned. What was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does the screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. Well, I guess the human will know the song because you're writing it. The chat will know the food. Catrose is probably um, Rose. 
can I please have a look at your poems? I haven't finished with it. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs, wor germs, scraps, worms, no, septicemia. Pachyderms. Pachyderms. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Something that grows? No. Well, the granted road is this. Resentment. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Smack. Orange. <laughs> Only these two rhyme. Uh, which one? Uh, I think we like snack is slightly funny. I'm sorry. Snack. Right. Uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? Well, uh, so you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I guess I still can't get you out. So many fond, greasy memories. They've sealed it shut. What? Thoughts I really ought not. I need a piece of you. Hey! What do you want? Enjoy your evening. Are you leaving? Without, without helping me, when I get out of here, I'm gonna eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. I haven't got an option to help you. I've got one button that says talk to you. Can I tickle you with this? Probably not underwater. <coughs> oh, publisher. I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But uh, I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment. You know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> that Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. Ah, uh, that's the secret. Oh, and, uh, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mums the word until they're announced. Gosh, Gullet, your poems. The only possible word is wow. Oh, uh, thanks very much. What do you think you might see your editor friend? Who? <laughs> Who? Are you joking with me? You are. You remember about the poems, right? Just pulling your leg. I don't want to do it literally. You might lose something. Um, uh, right. Enjoy your evening. Not likely. Okay, I've got my secret. I'm not going to be disguised as Gullet. And I'll be uh, a swab again. Wow. 
gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Bloated worms like pachyderms. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect! Qui doloram ipsi, quia dolor sitamet. Nisi uta liquid vexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin doke cat, cupidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. All right. Bloated worms like pachyderms, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. That's enough for now. I don't want to waste all the magic power. My soul is black, I've had a snack. The stench is growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. See ya, partner. All right. So we go back to the ship. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mock quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Buddy! What did he say? Oh. Oh, well, he made the map. He made the map to the secret, I mean. Oh, because he was working with Madison. Oh. I'm not even a fan of live squid. Alright. Bloated worms like pachyderms. Permission to come aboard? Know it. I thought we'd lost you. Ah, it'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Worth a try on several levels, though. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. Is that something crossed up? <laughs> oh, I want to see what happens if uh, Gullet sees me like this. Obviously. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense. If you're me, then who am I? You're me, of course. 
wouldn't I be over there in that case, and you'd be over here? Normally, except I'm the one stuck on the rudder. Oh, now you'd make my brain hurt. I'd like you to leave now. Hi. Go away. I've already got a headache. Hi. Go away. I've already got a headache. Lovely stuff. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. It changes every few minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I never remember him having one. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does. Seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Yeah. And uh, the, other, the other ones might Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. See ya. going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Okay, so we're voting. What's the issue? I don't know. Bob? Well, I don't know. Flair? Don't look at me. I didn't ring the stupid bell. Well, I didn't ring it. Don't look at me. I can't reach the thing from here. Haven't we already done enough voting for one day? Well, the bell rang. What do you want to do? Should we... wait? Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. What's wrong Waste with? of time. Hope my suit didn't burn. Hmm. Is he still is he asleep up here? Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! I wouldn't want to wake him up. personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. Cutthroat Kelly? Who's that? Okay, the 
the lady doesn't protest too much. Seven cutlasses. <laughs> New story, that's me. Is that just now? Is this oh, this is supposed to be happening on a May 14th. Interesting trivia. Okay, so one for the uh, 17th is the his catchphrase that he's currently using. Wait, what? There's no 17th, okay. Brandish the seven colours is. score coming along. The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. But, uh, Go back and guard the ship like I told you. I want to hear it. Go, lad, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Well, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. You're the best hash slinger I've ever known. There, you just proved it. Get out of my galley. Okay, I'm going. Do I have to just talk her into it? What was that lovely meal I cleaned up in LeChuck's cabin last night? You're just teasing me. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. Let's call her a chef, because she prefers that. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Uh, there's that weird creature under the sea. Oh, there's one on the beach. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. I mean, yes. Uh, sure she is. Okay. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Right, now, um... 
How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Can I have it? far without being pecked to death by ghost chickens. Keep your expectations modest, I always say. So what's your name? I've come this far without being pecked to death by ghost chickens. What is your name? the disguise while I'm still on the ship. fan of live squid. Now I need a daisy. Anyone seen a daisy? It's kind of horrifying. Oh, it looks like, is it, yeah, it's a purple tentacle with a green, it's, that's, a, that's a reference. Just a whole lot of jungle around here. get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? A little bit. I think I know LeChuck's catchphrase. Well... It occurs to me that if I tell you the secrets before we do whatever ritual thing it is you're planning, I lose all my leverage. This is a relationship built on trust. Then I guess you'll just have to trust me. I'll let you know when I have all the information, and then we'll do the ritual together. Fine, fine. Just hurry up.
ray. B. Do. Do. Ray. Ray. B. Fa. So. You make a lovely sound when struck with a bone. Don't try to justify your abuse, you callous clod. Your day is coming. You make a lovely sound. Don't try to just... Right. Um... See ya, partner. It's faded over the years, but it's still... Loaded worms like pachyderms. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. Okay, she doesn't need anything. That's good, because I can find it. Bon appetit! That's it? Sometimes simple is best. I'd rather not, honestly. Well, I've got work to do. Right. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. I'd still like to hear LeChuck's theme song. Like I said, I think he was having one composed, but I don't know anything else about it. Oh, yeah. See ya. Hat 
Captain LeChuck isn't on board. We get a reprieve from yelling. I don't know what that means. to hear the song. What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Okay. I don't think I could move the last time. What's this? It's the theme music Flair was working on. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my suit didn't burn. Trying to stay in character. Where's she gone? Ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Almost. Can I really trust you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. You make a lovely sound when struck with a bone. Don't try to justify your abuse, you callous clod. Your day is coming. So, with the easy mode just being a hey, Murray segment. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Could have done that if I'd known music potentially. 
quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say the Chuck's catchphrase. Oh, uh, brandish. Brandish? The seven? Cutlasses. Quis atem bel veleptate bel eat. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Eat? Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay. Magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Uh. Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. <laughs> I've been double crossed. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? Robert Tree. Let's take a vote. Star Wars. What happened to our deal? Don't pretend you didn't intend to double-cross us and steal the map the first chance you got. You don't know that for sure. It's in your to-do list. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, no. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Uh, wait, I have a family. <laughs> Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Do I have the map? Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. So was Murray. Did Murray have it? Oh. It came from over here somewhere. Oh no. No. What no. the? Reapwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh, hey. Oh, no! What? Are you okay? No. I think my pancreas is broken. Do you even know where your pancreas is? Judging by the pain, I'd say everywhere. What are you doing here? <laughs> did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? She's got a thing on. I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. This whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. 
I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll Scurvy. take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Hello. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. You come where you came, huh? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! No way. Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. Oh. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? You can do the goopy parts. Race you to the ship! Well, so Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. Come on, Murray. You've got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Okay. Oh, well, she clearly won. Slowpoke. You had a head start. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? But not normally this wrecked. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Let's go. What? Okay. Well, we did what we could with Look the materials at, at hand. Ah, oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. Huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake grief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Again, without the secret of Monkey Island. Alright, uh, see you next time.